They captivated the world and brought Canada to tears at the 2010 Winter Olympics in Vancouver. Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer skated to Canada's first ever gold medal in the ice dancing. Now the pair is sharing the story of their remarkable partnership both on and off the ice. Tessa and Scott, our journey from childhood dream to gold is a revealing look at their shared journey to the Olympics. And they join us in studio this morning. Thank you for being here. And this is a journey. This book is like a journey because it starts, and I was showing some of the pictures earlier this morning, and just, of, I don't know, there you go. Like, look, at, I love that. And that's, you know, a lot of the really young pictures is how it starts, and it builds to that Olympic moment. How did you ever sift through all of these pictures and decide which ones were going to tell what bit of the story? Well, Tessa's mom is a great scrapbooker, so we were lucky that she kept a lot of yeah. uh, pictures and little things from the beginning of our career, and it really is a snapshot of uh, what the first uh, early years were like. One of the, um, the things that stands out in this book to me is your, your constant recognition of how many people it took to help you to get to the point. Look at that. <laughs> what happened? Do you remember that? Shoot, <laughs> Do you remember that performance, too? I remember the rink and, and the people around it. I don't really remember the performance that well. <laughs> and listen to music. <laughs> I remember I wasn't supposed to wear that dress, but I think it was Valentine's Day, so I wanted to wear something pink. Something pink. <laughs> Perfect. Um, yeah, so but the, uh, the team that had been behind you, and as you build to this Olympic moment in the book and when you're celebrating that's what you kept thinking about was all the people who helped you along the way exactly. absolutely and what a great way for us to to celebrate with everyone and and to sort of give everyone a glimpse you know there's always that barrier between what's really happening and and what's portrayed in the media right. and and with fans so we wanted to give everyone a little taste of of what was going on behind the scenes and and it really was about that team and people that lived through um, you know, the ups and downs every step of the way. We were so fortunate to have that team with us. One of the things that we didn't know, and we were, you know, in Vancouver with you. I mean, Canada was there with you, both. And one of the things that we didn't know was that you were skating injured for a long time, and you were in pain literally every day, even through and up until that Olympic performance. I think that's the tricky thing about being in sport because part of it is having to pretend, you know, put a smile on and, and pretend like you feel great. Um, unfortunately, that's just the nature of it. But, yeah, it was a difficult season. Yeah. Um, and looking back, I'm not quite sure how we did it. I think at the time it's amazing how powerful the mind can be and you can block the pain. And I had a great physiotherapist in Mary Brannigan who traveled with me. And, you know, I had Scott's support. But... Uh, it's hard not to rise to the challenge when you're competing at a home Olympic Games. You certainly did that, but Scott, you must have been worried too, because you knew. I mean, even the coach was looking at, gee, how far can she walk? Okay, the cafeteria yeah. is only three minutes, you can do that. I mean, it was, you must have been very concerned. Yeah, we had to be very strategic at the Games, and uh, it kind of just became part of our life. I mean, we've been dealing with it for a couple of years, and Tessa even was keeping it a lot, of, even from me, and she was, as she said, she was putting on a brave face and really convincing herself that she was healthy. And even at times you were practicing with that, or you used, she became a hockey stick in some sandbags? <laughs> yeah, I tried my best, but you can't really replace her. <laughs> when you think about all the things that you've been asked and the, and the, the, the tour, that you get, you get the Olympic moment, and then you're as busy as you ever would be in your entire <laughs> life. Looking back on, I mean, it's only been eight months since yeah. then, but for the first few months, you couldn't even stop to take a breath. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty crazy. It's been, it's been a lot of fun, though. We've been really lucky, and... Um, our favorite part has just been taking the support of the Canadian fans, and luckily we were able to do the tour across Canada with Stars on Ice, and that was, that was a lot of fun. At what point did you really feel like it hit home that you were Olympic champions? I think it's still setting in. You know, to see those images and, and look back on, on that team skating in Vancouver, it almost doesn't seem like that's us. Um, so much has happened since then, yeah. and we've grown so much, and we've needed to because we've been thrown into different business positions, and um, we're learning kind of that different aspect, you know, as opposed to just training and being so focused on, on the physical part of our sport. I think now we're, we're really learning, and um, it's something we've enjoyed, but I feel like we're a different team, <laughs> different people now than we were then in that, in that aspect. And when we talk about then and now and how young you both were when you started the partnership, I mean, you've been together long than you've been 
a part. You, you barely remember skating a part, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we always say that uh, Tessa doesn't have any recollection of life before Scott, which is kind of sad. <laughs> Yeah, we've really grown up together, and that's where we get our strengths and we get our unique uh, relationship. And it, and it truly is a unique relationship, and on the cover is that wonderful moment, of course, um, in the, and in the book, almost on every page is the two of you together and, and looking like a couple. And that must be probably the second or third most popular question to you is, <laughs> are you a couple? Yeah. And you've always said it, w it was a skating partnership. Exactly. Yeah, that is... That is a popular question, um, and I think that it's great. We do take it as a compliment. Um, sometimes I feel badly because there's really only one answer, and it's hard to put it in different terms. But, but everybody loves a romance, right? So everyone's like, oh, wouldn't it be great? It's going to be so wonderful because you are so close. Yeah. In every single picture, you're holding each other. You've got each other's hands. It's it's something that it's it's really hard to explain, and, and we're the, we've gone through this together, but no one else can, really has knows what it, it's taken and, um, you know, to, to go through this together and to just be by each other's side every moment. I mean, it's, it's definitely a, a unique and strong relationship. Has it been difficult if you do see other people? Because you're, you're on screen, off screen, on ice, off ice. You have to work together all the time. Yeah, it's, it's always difficult in what we do, but, you know, we're not the only ones going through this. And um, it's, it's a unique relationship, but people have to understand if they want to be with one of us, I guess. And when we talk, people, I, I don't know, let's put this, at the, maybe the third most asked question is like Sochi or the next Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that might be number one now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably up, up there. And what do you say? We just tell them the truth. Um, really, we're taking it one year at a time. After uh, the Vancouver experience, who wouldn't want to do four more Olympic Games, really? But uh, we have to pace ourselves, and we have to just take it a year at a time. And right now, we're committed to the end of this season, and then we'll have to reevaluate. We think it's a feeling, so... Um, if we have the feeling that we still are hungry, we still want to skate, we'll continue. But if not, then we have to be true to ourselves and move on. And I also have to say um, congratulations because you just went through surgery too for that nagging injury. And you, you haven't been long off crutches, right? Not long, but a week. <laughs> well, good for you. And it was great of you to come in and share some of the book with us. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.